Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. 2019 was filled with some amazing movies, and I'm really looking forward to what the big screen has to offer in 2020. Turns out I'm not the only one. The movie maestro himself, Zilla, is back down to the circle to break down what movies are a must-see in the new year. Zilla, yes. what's poppin'? I'm chilling, man. I'm, I'm really excited to see what the, what's in theaters this year. Yes. A lot of big movies, yes. Bad Boys, Just Mercy, Bad Boys. cannot wait. And it's coming quick, like January. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, like this month is yeah. like Liddy all weekend. Exactly, yes. exactly. Okay, so let's just get right on into the movies. Let's let's kick off with some of the movies. The first one is the one with, let's see, who you got going? I got the photograph. The, fo the, the photograph. The photograph yeah. looks amazing. Exactly, it definitely does. I cannot wait. I love Issa Rae's character in yeah, this, from what yeah. I see. Yeah. What, what do you what say you about this movie? Issa Rae's character is struggling with her relationship with her mom. Mm -hmm. She finds this photograph of her mom and she starts to go down this rabbit hole of like figuring out who our mom was. You know, yes. your, your mother never tell you who she is? Right, you right. don't really know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and she Still figures out, exactly. <laughs> and she has this parallel love story that opens up a lot of secrets and we sort of see it play. This is a throwback to like those love films that are about love. Yeah. It looks great. Lakeith, who plays Michael, is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. And he's in everything this year, which is great to see him Man. doing good stuff. And uh, I, li I, like what, I like his body of work that he's putting out. I like Lakeith, and yeah. I think that Lakeith is one of those artists that is so versatile that he, and I, and I, this is the first person that I could think of, Tom Cruise. He yeah. reminds me of someone that just kind of is able to embody every single role. So Absolutely. I'm excited to see what he does after this and beyond. He's in three trailers out right oh now. My God. He looks different in every single one of this those roles. This is what I'm Can't saying about see. him. He is so lit. Okay, so Birds of Prey. Yeah. Talk to us about the Prince Harley Prince. Quinn movie. I'm really excited about it because uh, French actor Juicy Smollett's sister, Journey uh -huh. Smollett, is yes, in it. Yes. Uh, if you saw the Dave Chappelle show, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, but yes. Journey Smollett <laughs> is in it as well. And uh, it tells the story of Harley Quinn as her solo film. Yes. And if it's anything like what the Joker did, it should, be, it should do big things. Yeah. Now, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> when I saw the preview, I was not thrilled. Yeah. But I think that it's worth a see. It is. Because you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting sick of the whole spinoff, just just to be spinning somebody off. Mm -hmm. But I do like her as an actress. Yeah, Marla, Mar yeah. Margot Robbie is dope. She's very, very good. Yeah. She's another one that's very versatile. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm excited to see where that goes. Now, A Quiet Place 2, I'm extremely yes. excited about yes. this. Because the, the first, quiet, The Quiet Place 1 was the bomb. The bomb. It was the bomb. And it had very little dialogue None. in it. And this one opens up the world. We start to see other people and them interacting. The same and they have a baby. And oh these monsters, you start to see, and they know how to defeat the monsters this time. The oh, first okay. one, they figured out, like, okay, how are we doing it? Now, right. this one, they have a little bit of information. It's excited to see where this world is. And in the trailer, the guy says, the people who are alive now are not worth saving. So wow. it's sort of interesting to see they're fighting monsters and people now. So I'm really excited to see where they wow. go with the story. I mean, it was, the, the first one was super intense. Yeah. And that, the acting was... Yeah, Emily Blunt is phenomenal. Krasinski's dope. He's just directing it this time, but Emily Blunt is great. Can you imagine working with your husband, him yeah. giving you direction, yeah. and Turn you have to obey? Well, <laughs> you know what? You could have kept obey out of this, Zilla. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, I know we have to get into this one because we're very excited about this. Yeah. The Untitled Fred Hampton Project. The Untitled Fred, yes. excited about everything that it can bring. Absolutely. To the culture. Now, for all, those who don't know, this movie is actually telling the story of Fred Hampton yes. through the perspective of the guy who actually ratted to the FBI wow. and told him uh, where he was, William O'Neill, which stars Lakeith Stamp. Lakeith, Lakeith, Lakeith plays Lakeith, uh, William O'Neill in there, and he's the guy who actually got caught riding in a stolen car, uh -huh. got pulled over by the cops, and the cops was like, yo, we're going to bust you unless you infiltrate the Black Panther Party. He told them where the guns was at, told them everything, and they kept trying to find information about Fred Hampton, who's played by a Daniel Kaluuya, Oscar-nominated Daniel Kaluuya, mm -hmm. and, uh, they, but they couldn't figure it out, and then end up you know, murdering Fred Hampton, and that's wow. what they, they tell. Now, when are we looking for this to come out? Because it's not January. No, 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 that one comes out in August, August, August 20th. Uh, it should be a great film. The Lucas Brothers came up with the story. The Lucas Brothers are two twin comedians who dropped out of law school to uh -huh. be comedians, uh -huh. and now they wrote this film. They're really great. Wow. And is, are they filming here, or is it... They filmed some of it multiple? in Atlanta, some of it in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And last but not least, Tenet? Tenet, yes. Yes. Tenet 
is uh, starring John David Washington. Mm -hmm. It's Christopher Nolan. This is yes. big budget blockbuster. Yeah. It really is like his calling card to me because mm -hmm. I think like it's a make or break film for him. It's his first big blockbuster. Yeah. It plays with time. Everyone's anticipating for it. And he actually dies, goes to the afterlife, like quote unquote dies, goes to the afterlife, mm -hmm. and he gets to play with time. It's like most people don't actually make it this far. Right. And he did it. So it, sh it should be really good. And they have a Robert Pattinson who plays in this movie as well. Yes, I'm excited about Washington because yeah. this dude is really morphing into his father. Right, he could be the second he coming is to going Denzel. To be, this is what I'm saying. He's phenomenal yeah. on film. That's what I really like about this state of hip, this state of uh, acting in Hollywood right now mm -hmm. because the top role for top actor is up for grabs. It could be La Kaluuya. Yeah. It could be Lakeith Stanfield. Yes. It could be John David. You don't know who it's going to be. Yes. Like I feel like a couple years ago we just had Denzel. Well, exactly. If Denzel was in it, it was going to be good. It's still Denzel. It Equalizer 2 just came out. Yeah, yeah. It kind of had four as well. Right. But he, he, he made ghost talks if you don't know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he did. It's true. Uh, but this was like, it's up for grabs. We have all these great actors who are mm -hmm. doing great movies and making great films. Yes. And it's really, really showing you the power of black Hollywood. Yes. And speaking of that, Bad Boys for Life. Yes. January 17th. It comes yes. out. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. Have you seen it yet? I have not seen it yet, but I'm excited to see Will be Will. Me too. I don't want to see Will be a genie. I don't want I that. don't want him to have an accent. I just want Will Smith to be Will Smith. Yeah. I'm a little nervous about it because because this time Mike Lowry is having like a midlife crisis. Yeah. I, I don't want Will to act. I just want Will to be Will. Be cool, Will, who we yeah. all know. He was That's good as like us, though, the cartoon. I okay, just saw cool. that over the That's weekend. And he was kind of Will. He was yeah. Will, Fresh Prince Will. I ain't like Gemini, man. It was weird. I love Gemini, I like man. man. Oh, man. Weird. Well, we have to go. Thank you so much for breaking all these movies down today. Yes. Uh, looks like 2020 is going to be epic for all things movies and much more. Be sure to follow Zilla on Instagram at blogzilla.